Welcome to today's video. I'm really excited about this one. We are doing my famous 20 minute lead warm up. Okay. If you're a real estate agent, you are been in the business a couple years, like three years already. You sell about five deals a year. You are struggling and you are not getting to that six figure income that you want. This is a cool little trick to warm up some of your leads that you've talked to in the past. Remember, I talk a lot about my special system. You do not need a thousand leads to be successful. I have built a whole business around working 15 hours a week, only talking to 20 leads a year, maybe even less sometimes, and I make a high six-figure income. You want to really work on that. If you're following me, that's what you're interested in. And so today we're going to talk about the 20-minute lead warm-up. So if you have some leads that you worked with last year, even six months ago, they've ghosted you and you're just like, I need a little bit of business. I would love to get another deal coming into play. How can I do that? So we're going to get right into it. Today, I'm actually going to be doing some slides with you. So we're going to go through that as well. And please post comments below. Make sure you're following me because I have such great content coming out. I have another video that will be coming out soon about finances, ways that you can get 5% interest on your money, especially if you're a business account sitting and waiting where you can earn interest while sitting and waiting, which is really cool. So there's a lot of neat stuff I'm going to be teaching you. It's not just all about branding. I am really your whole encompassing coach, but I start with the fundamentals of building that irresistible brand to get you there. Then when you're there, I help with the rest of it. But in the meantime, if I could add some cool little nuggets in that help you move your business forward and get to the dreams that you want faster, I'm for it. All right, let's get started with this training. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is your 20 minute lead warm up, And I want you to really, hold on. I have to fix this. I can't look this way and this way, so hold on. Bear with me. It was too hard to look to the side. Okay, let's present it one more time. Okay, so let's get going. I have shared my screen and I'm excited for you to see this. How to get old leads warm again, the 20 minute lead warm up. This is my fundamental way to get leads going again. Now, you have to know who you're talking to. You have to know your focus. You have to know your niche. There's a lot of elements that come into this. But if today you tell me, Christina, I just need one more active lead who says yes to working with me, this is going to pump it up. This is going to get the conversation going. And then we can work together on moving it forward to a yes to an ultimate close. Because at the end of the day, if they're saying yes, but they are not closing, you are not making money. So let's just jump right into it. Here's where I want you to start. I want you to grab a few packs of Post-its and some Sharpies. This is critical. You're going to access your text messages, emails, anywhere you think an old lead came from, wherever they may be. And here's like a bonus thing. If they're all over the place, I use an amazing CRM. But before I got into my CRM because of time and everything, I just created a Google Drive and I created little sheets and folders for each person in Google Drive. I used to have paper folders, but then I had them like everywhere and my, my husband was like, this is not working for me. So I created a digital filing system. That was the best way because I put all my notes in it. I had all stuff in for me. It was easier than a CRM until I got too big. So think of it as that as well. As you go through this process, you can do one and the other at the same time. Put all the leads, first and last names on the post-it. I usually like to do it at the top, maybe in the middle, somewhere it's easy. Leave space to write their time frame for buying or selling. You're going to get this through the conversations that you have. You're going to label them a B for a buyer, an S for a seller, or a BS for both. And then as you go through, um, as you're reconnecting with these leads, 
you're going to move them on your wall around. Now, some people have whiteboards. Some people have like pinup boards like I have behind me. Do it however you want. I personally have a black foam board in my room that has my post-its on it, right? And I know where things are. I am a hands-on type person. Like I actually write physical, like in physical books and I save them and I put my comments, my notes, my everything. This is, I am a touchy person. If you're like, oh my gosh, I can just do this digitally. I don't care. Awesome. Open up Google, create some pages, create some cool stuff. I don't care how you do it. Post-its are neat because you can move it and you can adjust it. I have a foam board. I have different color post-its. I put their names on it and I go through. This is where I start figuring out who's going to start buying, who's not, who's priority, who's not. It's really important to know that. When you're reconnecting, you want to review your past interactions. What was the conversation like? Where did you end it? What happened? If you don't even remember, so like sometimes I'll look at a text and I'll be like, oh, that was like a year ago. I don't like, we didn't do something, right? Then you just refresh very simple. It could be a very simple thing. Hey, um, to my clients, they know me as Coco. Hey, it's Coco. I know it's been a while. Just wanted to check in to see if I can help you with anything real estate related or anyone you, else you know. Um, give me a shout out. I'm here to help you. Simple, right? Or you could be like, hey, it's been a while. The real estate market's changed. Are you interested in a real estate market update? Whatever you want to make as your grab that feels right, that's what you want to do. You want to make it a personalized outreach. You want to provide value on it. And you want to suggest an exclusive opportunity like, um, hey, you know, I'm offering a half percent, um, you know, rebate for anyone who works with me in the next three months. Or, hey, we're doing we're throwing on a free house cleaning. Whatever it is you can do that makes it work to get them going. This is a cool way of doing it. I love, love, love doing video. This thing we have in our hands 24 seven is a very easy way to just shoot a quick video. So what I'll do is I'll actually take it. And of course, I don't have my colored post-its with me. Um, I take my colored post-its. I do their name across, right? And then a Sharpie. And I usually have a color, it just stands out more. And then I start the video like this. Hey, Susan, it's Coco. How have you been? And I put down their name. I know it's been a while. I wanted to reconnect with you. How has everything been going? How's the family? How's the kids? How's the dog? Whatever key point you kind of want to throw in there. Hey, a lot's happened in real estate. I know we haven't connected in a while, and I really wanted to reconnect with you. If you're interested in a market update, I can definitely send you one live like this on video. I'm happy to do a phone call, but I am here to help you with all your real estate needs and anyone else you know. Don't forget about me. I'm always here to help you. That's simple right? A lot of us are really afraid. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have an amazing background. You don't have to have the best light. Just come from the heart. Now, do not have screaming kids in the background. I have four kids. Don't have them in the background. <laughs> don't have barking dogs in the background. Find some are quiet. Find some back walls behind you when you're doing the video so it's not distracting. I personally, everyone's different. I don't like it when someone's making a video and they're walking around because I'm watching the video and I'm just like, whoo, that's like a little too much. So if you're going to do a video, just hold it and just be like, hey, Susan, how are you? You know, just make it very friendly and do it. Now, if you are in a louder environment and you're going to do it, try getting the lapel mics. Those help as well. We are doing very basic videos. These are so cool. People like them. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set aside 20 minutes without disruptions. So you're going to reach out to old leads and check where they are in the process. This is like the how can I help sending the video. If you've been kind of connecting here and there, or I was kind of more recent and you can get a little response, say, hey, I noticed we were talking. You're kind of interested. Look, I want to tell you this. If you are afraid to ask the hard questions, you're going to have problems. Ask them. Did you already buy a house or are you still looking to buy? Yes, I'm still looking to buy. Great. Are you working with a real estate agent that you love? Question mark. Yes. Fantastic. I'm so excited you found someone who is amazing and connects with you. If anything changes, 
I hope you would consider me next time. And I always welcome any kind of referral. So if you think I'm a right fit for someone you know, please share the information. I'll reach right out to them. Boom. Okay. Do not be afraid to ask. If they say, yeah, I'm working with an agent, but I'm not loving it. Then ask the questions. What about them are you not loving? How can I serve you better? Do you have a buyer, buyer broker agreement? In today's age with an R settlement, everyone will. But the question now is going to be, do you have a one-day agreement? Do you have a two-week agreement? Do you have a one-year agreement? What does your agreement look like, right? What are the terms? Do you want to cancel? Are you looking to work with someone else? Ask the questions. Get the information. If they are interested in buying, what's your time frame look like, right? Where do you want to buy? What's your budget, right? This is where someone says, yes, I want to buy. I go, great. The market has changed significantly since the last time we talked. Are you open to a buyer consultation over Zoom? I am very big, if you haven't noticed, I work 15 hours a week. I do not like to make extra work for myself. If I can throw in a quick Zoom video to talk with somebody while they're at the office or they're at lunch or wherever, I throw it in. I don't meet with a lot of people anymore. And I will say, are you available for a quick Zoom um, call? We're gonna do a consultation. I'd love to dig in hear more about what you're looking for and then see how we can fit it in and if we're still looking in the same area or not. I have availability tomorrow at this time, this time, or the next day at this time. Or do you prefer evenings? Make an appointment. Connect with them if you can. That is golden. Zoom, they still see your face, right? They still hear you. You still get to connect with you. Don't be afraid of stuff. If you still love getting out, running out to coffee shops or whatever, Check with them and be like, hey, I'm also going to be in the area tomorrow around five or six. If you want to meet after work, I'm happy to grab you a coffee. I just know from my cl ideal clients that I work with, majority of them are um, tech workers. They have families. They're working long hours. It is hard for me to say, let's go jump out and grab coffee. To be honest, it's very rare. So know your ideal client, know your niche, know who you're speaking to and then present them with the option. Get them in the door, have a conversation. So um, then you can ask them a question like, how might you move, like the question I want you to think, sorry, is how might you move them to work with you now or in the future? What is it that they're looking for? Ask a lot of questions. Think about how you want your business to move forward and organize your posts based on that. So if you're just sitting here going like, I'm struggling right now with the whole NAR settlement and getting things I'm signed, by the way, if you are, check out my Agent Brand Academy because I am teaching agents inside of there how to create irresistible value and they get them signed easily. Past four years, I've been getting mine signed, no questions asked, no negotiating, no nothing on the part of the buyers. Meaning I always tell them they can negotiate, they love me that much that they are okay with whatever the price is. So you need to think of all of that and then organize it. Do you want to work with more sellers right now? Do you want to work with more buyers? Um, are you, do you want to classify them first time buyer? Um, you know, second time buyer, like however you want to classify and organize them, that's what you want to do. It's very, very important to make sure that you do it. All right, my friend, now you have the framework needed in order to find one or two active clients from leads you've already done. Celebrate. The next three months just got easier. I have helped agents do it. I know one agent, her response two days later was, holy cow, Christina, I just picked up three new buyers. So this works. I want you to be excited about it. Post a comment below. If you try this, I hope you do. Post a comment below. How did it work? Did you get any snags? Did it go really well? What did you learn from it? How can you improve on it? Let's help our community get better with information from all of us. So I hope you like the 20 minute lead warm up. I'm here to always help you, always, always. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing so you can see me again. And I want you to know that if you are just struggling in your real estate business right now, you've been in the business for three years or so, you do about five deals a year and you really cannot break out of the five figure income and you really wanna hit the six figure income, Check me out. I have a lot of cool content. I have my coaching and training. There's so much information out there. 
But at the end of the day, you really, really, really need to real estate differently. You have to look at your business, come up with a strategy and a plan that aligns with you and start working towards it. I'm here as your real estate coach, your entrepreneur coach. You are so many different things. Hire someone if you want to do it faster like me so that you can actually see the progress faster. It took me six years to build what I have now. I'm helping agents do it in months, like months. It takes time to keep refining it, but they're already seeing results within a month, right? So you want to think, if I want this and I want something different, start taking the steps forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you on the next video.